Hey, what's up guys? So a couple of days ago, my internet went out and I thought that it was just typical Unify. So I tried to restart my router and modem a couple of times um, and it still didn't work. So I did a little bit more troubleshooting and uh, I went to go check out my modem and um, it wasn't good. The LOS light was blinking, uh, which means that there's something wrong with the optic fiber cable, which isn't good. So what I did was I flipped it over and I tried to take the cable out and put it back in. Usually it works, but in this case, it was still blinking, so I followed the white optic fiber cable to the little box. This is where it connects both of the optic fiber cables from the inside of the house to the outside of the house. Um, and I saw that my black one, which is the outside optic fiber cable, it was really, really mangled. Um, I think it was because my cats were probably playing with it. I was chewing on it, so it was literally almost in two. Um, so I had to buy a new pair. Now, these cables are extremely fragile because they are made out of literal glass. So if you guys aren't comfortable with doing these types of DIY fixes, I would highly suggest you guys to just call up Unify and um, let them fix your problem for you. If you guys do want to follow along, please make sure that you get the pre-terminated SC to SC connector. I'll put some links down in the description so you know exactly what you're trying to buy. Um, it's basically the little blue end at the end of the connectors. You definitely do want this. Okay, so to replace a cable, I like to start with the outside box first. So what you do is you just follow the black um, little wire to the outside of your house and you're trying to look for a TM box. Um, usually it's mounted on your wall on the outside of your house. So here's mine. What you want to do is you want to release these two clips at the top. So I use a chopstick and what I do is I just... Um, place it inside of one of the holes and I just push straight and those clips will uh, release by themselves. Uh, go slow, uh, don't put too much pressure on it because you might break the clips. So here's the black wire, the black optic fiber wire from the inside of the house. Um, I just follow it to where it is on the outside box and uh, here it is being connected to the underground wire. Um, you don't want to be playing with this. This is an extremely fragile wire. This wire, I can't imagine what it would cost or how much time it would take to replace this. So you don't really want. So you don't really want to be playing with it. Um, it's wrapped in very very thick armor sleeving, and it wraps around your house. So here it is. This is the SC to SC um, adapter. So I just remove it from the clips from the box. And to remove the cable, um, what I do is I hold on the top bit and I apply pressure on the left and right side and I try to go very, 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 very slow to release it. It's very important to take your time. And uh, there you go, it's released. To put it back in, it's pretty much the same thing in reverse. I have to use two hands here, so I didn't uh, record myself uh, putting back in, but yeah, it's pretty much just um, aligning the notches uh, as far up as possible. Don't try to force it in. Um, the notches, they don't go all the way up, so don't worry about that. It still should make adequate contact. So on the other side of the cable, here's the inside of the house. So what you want to do is you want to take that notch and you plug it into the interior SC to SC adapter. Here it is, and um, it's basically the same thing as the outside of the house. Push it in um, as farther up as possible, um, and don't try to force it in. Um, the notch, it doesn't go all the way up. Don't worry about closing the box yet because we're trying to test if the internet is back online. So what you want to do is to take your white optic fiber cable, the one that plugs into your modem, and you want to slide it into the SC to, on the other end of the SC to SC connector. And you want to push in from the back, and you want to make sure that you hear a click and you don't see any more red. So now you want to turn on your modem and you want to see that the PON uh, light is on and go to your router and you should be online. Now to close up the box, um, you want to route your cable, your excess cable into the little teeth, um, the little cable management teeth and try to spiral it in a way where it's very, very neat and all very compact. And you should have something that looks like this. Now plug the optic fiber cable back in and now you want to close it up. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, if you guys like the video, please do hit on the like button. Um, subscribe if you like videos like this. And uh, if you have any questions, um, I'll try my best to answer them in the comment section down below. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it. Thank you guys for watching and uh, I'll see you around, I guess.